Hello everybody and welcome back to New Eriador. We are finally back in the base. We had a lot of episodes that were not happening in the base. We did a lot of stuff in the world around here. But today we want to do something over here and I don't have that much time. I need to be honest with you because I am working a lot for the events that we will have on Saturday with you guys together. So I've wrote down some signs here to already let you know. New Reador Valentine's Day event. So you can join us again for 12 hours and of course you want to know the time. So on Saturday, that's the 14th of February, that's Valentine's Day, uh, we'll have the event from 11 p.m. to 11 a.m. PST, that's uh, Los Angeles and so on. 2 p.m. to 2 a.m. in EST, New York, for example. 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. in GMT, that's London. Then 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. CET, so Germany, Spain, and what's all around there. And we'll have a trailer 24 hours before we start the meeting. Uh, not the meeting, the event, of course. So at 8 a.m. CET, there will be a trailer on my channel to let you know what, for example, the price will be that we are going to hand over to our biggest new Uriado fan, because that's what we will try to find, the biggest fan of the server, who knows the most videos of all the members, and uh, can solve some quests that I will already give away. It's about solving quests, and uh, yeah, we want to find that out, because uh, we have a great prize in mind that we definitely want to give away, so... Uh, want to make one person really really happy and uh, that will be happening on Saturday. Maybe it's you, we'll find out. And um, yeah, I'm working a lot on the redstone stuff to make this all happen. I guess if you did something with command blocks already, you can imagine what I need to do. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's a lot of work and um, but I still found time today to do this episode and I'm really happy to do this because I was planning this for quite some time now or I had it in mind, I didn't really plan it out. I thought I might just spontaneously go over there and try something. Uh, so we brought the villagers to this place over here because we said we want to have a villager thing here. And uh, they are all in here. And I think that we should do something. Oh, look at him. He's ready for Valentine's Day, I guess. <laughs> um, we want to do something real big here. We want to make a bit of a factory, I think. We want to make something real complicated and big and bulky, not laid out in the best way. So we can have a bit of a factory. We can maybe sort villagers, we can trade with them, we can bring them to somewhere, use rails, whatever we like. Just make a big mess over here. And therefore we need a villager breeder, first of all. So I thought we might just start the villager breeder today, so we can then, um, yeah, have villagers in the future. And I brought some materials here. I don't know how this will work out, but uh, I think since we're doing a lot with uh, the spruce wood planks and the snow in this area, it might look quite cool. So um, what we're going to do is actually follow one of Janus' tutorials. Uh, he made a tutorial for the villager breeder that Doc once made, Doc M77 so to speak and um, I just remembered that he did the tutorial so I looked it up on his channel and uh, I need to uh, had some facts about uh, where villagers will breed infinitely because we want to make an infinite breeder here it's raining glass Rika is staring down a bit up there um, so um, the real cool thing about this villager breeder is and why I want to use this concept hey go away please um, that you can have just one villager with six doors and he would trigger the infinite breeding. And uh, that works because uh, there's a bit of a bug in the game, I think. So, um, yeah, we will have a floor, first of all, here, which will have then uh, some dirt so we can turn it into farmland. And with this farmland, then we'll have some farmers up there. I hope we have a farmer. Yes, we have one. He might not die. That's really important. And uh, I thought we might make a bit of a... What should we call it? Uh, tower structure here. Maybe we can even connect it to our bridge up there and make a staircase going down somewhere. I guess that might be quite cool if we had something to connect it to up there. So... Since the bridge is up there, we could even have the 
breeding villager guy sitting right on top of there, so he's not floating in the sky. I guess that's a good idea. Um, let me quickly get up there and then maybe get some blocks. Can I make it? I hope I can. Oh, fail. Oh, let me try this again. <laughs> I'm not the best with enderpearls because you don't practice enderpearls throwing here on the server. If I would was just running back to the middle spot, it would have been way easier. Hey, I made it. So, oh, from up here it looks way higher than it actually is. Uh, the villager guy could stand right here on this spot. And um, then we need to have him six blocks above the dirt. So let me get some dirt and count this out. Because that's really, really important with this design that you have the... Uh, villager in the right spot, otherwise he won't trigger the breeding that much. So I'd say I will quickly grab some dirt, count it out, and then I'll be back with some more progress. So the doors need to be on the sixth blocks above the dirt floor, so I place the dirt floor down there, and then there's two spaces of glass and then some dirt. I didn't build the exact same design as Janos did, but um, I wanted to do something myself here, so I tweaked the design a little and we'll see how it works out. And now we need to get the villagers up here and I prepared a little bit for that already. So I brought some ice so I can make water. Because I don't want to get uh, grab the buckets all the time. And we'll make a little bit of a water elevator right here. And hopefully this will then bring the villagers upstairs. Uh, let's try this out. In theory, I should be able to nudge this guy now into the water channel and he should go up. Yes, he does. Okay, so we'll have to do this with all of them, so we move them all up into our breeding area. And if they don't cooperate, I would just place some more water to flush them into the right spot. Uh, let me try to place a water source right here. Maybe uh, this guy's then gonna go over, or maybe he drowns. What an idiot. Uh, so he should go to here. And then we place another water source maybe here in this corner. If these guys allow us to. Whoa, that was one too much and in the wrong <laughs> spot. Uh, so please move out of the way. That's why working with villagers is sometimes a little bit painful. Okay, and then we need another source somewhere in this corner. And I will have messed up completely. I hit one of them, but I guess that the golems are created by us and no, none of them spawn, so they shouldn't be angry at all. Let me just place a block for now so nothing can es escape. And uh, this looks a bit messy now. Let's try to push the stuff where it needs to go. So, for example, this guy can go over now. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Into there. But this is the farmer, so the guy that we need. Let's see if they are okay up here. Welcome to the family. <laughs> uh, please go out of here. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, let's see if he already has some stuff to plant because then he can already start. We just make this. Well, that was a bit unexpected. Looks like trapdoors won't stick on farmland. Okay, I will have to replace them in a moment. And put some blocks on the outside instead. I th thought I was quite smart there placing them on the inside because then we could just uh, flip them up and would have them already uh, yeah, at the, this side and they can't be nudged over to the very far end, but okay. Uh, let me get more of these in and then hopefully we can continue soon uh, with the rest of the system.
I know that this is not the most prettiest of things, but that is what we came up with now. We might change it afterwards, but first up we have the functionality here and we want to connect more buildings to this with tunnels and bridges, so it looks like a crazy factory really, so this is not a finished product anyways. But it got its function now, I think, so we've got the villagers here. We need a lily pad in the middle, I just see, because otherwise they might trample the crops. And now we need to get one of them out. So Rika got some rails, uh, maybe she can give me. And also a minecart, I guess. So, yeah, there it is. And we want to get one of these now upstairs. Because, yeah, we need them to be in the middle spot up there. So, <laughs> where's the best place to get in now? I guess from uh, up there. Let me get another ender pearl. They are quite useful here, but sometimes I have to go back and regen because, um, yeah, I'm totally running out of uh, energy. Maybe if we just place uh, some blocks here, we'll get one of them if he's stupid enough to go up here on his own. So let us try that. So some blocks for them to climb on. One here, here. Now I guess I have to drop. I'm sorry, but I need to destroy your crops here. Okay, but he's not allowed to go up here. Maybe another one will find his, his way. If not, we will just put... Oh, we can't put a track like this because we need to go around the corner. Like this, it should be possible to bring him almost all the way to the top. I need to get rid of this block. And then yeah, from here we can see what we can do. Can we place the rail? Nope. Need to trample this first. Now we can. Let me try to nudge one of these into the minecart. Yep, got him. So I can bring him upstairs now. Storm there for just a moment and destroy... Oh, they're going crazy here. I guess the village is active now. So that is good. And then we need to get up here without destroying any more crops. Because they want to get to the other villager upstairs. So let me try to remove all of this. Go away. And now I can maybe take out this block. Use the hoe and then we should be all good here. So I can close this off in just a second. Just removing the rest of the rails. Oh yeah, they're breeding already. That's awesome. Uh, let me bring him in his position first. So he needs to go right to there. So I want to place a block there as a bit of a stopper. Maybe we should place a solid block in the middle with a rail on top. So let's use some snow here. Rail. He's on it. And then yeah, let's just have some blocks on both sides. Maybe half slab so we can't move out of here. And yeah, there we go. So <laughs> I will now clean this up and then we can already start the breeding process. We just need to be careful that we don't get too many villagers into here because that uh, would cause some serious leg issues. I guess you know the problem if you have played with villager breeders yourself. But I guess that this was a total success and uh, we'll now start with our factory processing stuff here on this side of the base as it was planned and uh, yeah I guess that's gonna do it for today I hope that you enjoyed today's episode if you did feel free to leave a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with your friends and leave us a comment what you think about this uh, project I mean it's not efficient it's just about the engineering and uh, yeah then I hope I will see you in the next episode until then stay tuned and have a great day and hopefully we'll see us at the event.